My name is Van Nguyen and I am currently the CEO and co-founder of El Amir, that little tiny yellow strip that you're seeing all over uh, social media saturating everyone's wall. El Amir, revolutionizing wellness. Within three minutes, my scroll brain felt pure focus. This is a product that um, is, is revolutionary, honestly. So aside from the amazing focus and calmness for my squirrel brain, can we just talk about the euphoric happiness? I have gone from my hands shaking, my heart beating fast, to within 10 minutes, my hands physically stop shaking. Um, it's instant impact, but it also works on a lot of root cause type of issues that you're gonna see a long, uh, you know, see effects the longer that you use the product as well. Aside from that tightness in my chest going away, I feel motivated enough where I can clean the entire house and do the laundry, put it away without that scattered squirrel brain. This strip right here has taken my scattery squirrel brain and helps me to focus like never before. This tiny little strip product that is literally dominating the conversation tables in and out of network marketing. If they look it up and they see that, you know, like PubMed says that NAC helps with blah, blah, or this, this, then it's like they're doing the research themselves instead of you having to be concerned. Yeah, there might be a PubMed, PubMed study and all that kind of stuff, but it's still classified as a supplement. <laughs> it, you know, you're kind of going into that gray area of, um, you know, it performing like prescription. Yeah, and there's always people that are gonna screenshot you. There's always haters out there that, that don't want us to succeed, don't want you to succeed. And not that I, again, I go back to the fact, I don't want you to be afraid. We're trying to share a product, which is an incredible product that will help people, but we just need to, um, protect ourselves from the FTC and FDA. There's so many anti-MLMers out there reporting every company, calling them a pyramid scheme and doing all these things. You can't find this technology anywhere. I wanna say that even, uh, too. We'll be working day by day with our distributors and our brand partners. I'm sorry, brand partners. I gotta change my language. I keep calling everyone a distributor. This strip, this strip is too legit, too legit to quit. It gives you that feel good feeling. Wait till you try it. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kat. I'm a licensed registered dietitian nutritionist and on this channel we like to focus on weight neutral focused approaches to health as well as diving into scammy and in my opinion unethical nutrition related businesses products mostly nutrition related MLMs and other fear mongering nutrition claims. Today we are chatting about one of the newest supplement related MLMs called Elamir. We're just gonna do a quick rundown on the product, some of the claims, talk about some personal shade that I have with one of their new distributors. And so if all that sounds good to you, let's go. Okay, so remember in a previous video that I did a couple months ago, there was a lady who basically took everything from a private group chat from uh, people who were creating content around Black Oxygen Organics who wanted to be part of the chat. This person took that information, took it to people like the MLM police, who was originally trying to pit creators against one another back when the main anti-MLM YouTube kind of issues, drama, whatever you want to call it, whenever that happened. We were talking about the backstory about that and this person took that information to the MLM police. Uh, the same lady who tweeted out threatening to report me to the board of dietetics because I said that Mombi's tweets were going to make some anti-vaxxers, general people in the woo hemisphere upset. The same person, the same lady who randomly left our boo chat told me that she was going to be a pariah and then began saying that she was excluded and pushed away when she left on her own doing. The one who I'm not going to name because I'm not going to give any free promotion to that person. The one who said that she was leaving MLM because it was toxic who also said this about anti-MLMers. Well, that same person has joined Elamir because it's not like the other MLMs. And recently called anti-MLM activists this on a recent Elamir video chat. I'm not going to say the word, I don't know how YouTube, if they flag that word or anything, but basically if you are just listening, it rhymes with the word scarer and ends with is. 
So the fact that she used that loaded word for people who are involved in consumer advocacy is just so problematic and concerning. Using that word when people are being unalived by violence in mass amounts very recently too, it's not just very concerning, but it really downplays very real threats to people's lives human lives and so to use that word just so nonchalant um is really scary okay so after recording this video i was informed that this person put it out on their social media that they have contacted the fbi um, and is inviting people if they choose to call them to use the keyword anti-mlm and give their experience about i i guess anti-mlm activism um yeah i do know that she is or was recently still being followed by some anti mlmers uh from back when she did her whole expose videos her TikToks. still being supported by anti mlm content creators i heard that there was some recent damage control since, um, but these were taken within the last week or last week uh, from recording this, but it's just the recent support of her for me. So Elamir is just getting gems. But anyway, let's move into the product. Let's talk about it. So Access Clarity, it's this little strip, looks like a post-it note. What I've heard is that it's kind of like this fruit roll-up-y texture, but you stick the post-it note on your tongue and it dissolves. So there are a few ingredients in there, a few active ingredients. Um, the first one they list basically just helps with the bioavailability, uh, use of the product in the body, the cyclodextrin. Uh, but the main three ingredients are thiamine conjugate, so water-soluble vitamin B1. We get sufficient amounts of B1 in a variety of our foods, including legumes, fortified grains, meats in general. Having that, that's one of the reasons why having a variety in, of dietary intake of food is important, uh, but we typically don't see deficient amounts, uh, especially in places like the United States and Canada, places where this product is being sold. There are some groups of people that have a higher, let's say, risk of getting a B1 deficiency. That'd be people with some eating disorders, alcohol dependency, um, some people who have had weight loss surgery, that's why they're taking specific supplements afterwards, um, prescribed by their doctors, some people who use uh, diuretics or also called water pills, um, other groups of people. Typically, those people are going to be followed by their doctor. They're gonna be made aware of that. For the general public who has a variety of intake or even have intake, maybe that's not so variety um, wide, but they have fortified products in their intake, they're generally not going to be deficient in vitamin B1. There's nothing extraordinary about, like in the evidence, when you're talking about the impact of supplementation for this specific vitamin, at least outside of rare deficiencies. Moving into the next ingredient, the next one is NAC or N-acetylcysteine. It has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties. Now this one is the main ingredient that is causing a lot of talk. Uh, for a few reasons. Okay, so kind of moving backwards, when it is ingested, it is converted into glutathione, which is a very powerful antioxidant. And so that's kind of the purpose or why they're using it. That's why you see this in supplement forms and people taking it um, because of that glutathione. And that glutathione, you can have supplementation for that specifically, but a lot of people will use this form of it because of bioavailability, because of the being stable, more stable. So uh, that's why we see it in this form. So this product has been used in a variety of cases for specific things like cystic fibrosis or like chronic obstructive lung disease. It's generally going to be safe at the normal like supplemental intake. Toxicity typically occurring when it is like in an IV, very, very high amounts. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So this is a drug. It was defined as a drug when we first started having it in the United States. At that same time, it was also being sold as a supplement. Now, recently, the FDA has kind of cracked down on this because it was approved as a drug before being approved as a supplement. 
So I'm going to read this from the FDA's website and I'll also have it linked down below. So earlier this year, as the time I'm recording this is 2022, the FDA announced that it is confirmed that NAC is excluded or NAC is excluded from the dietary supplement definition under the FD&C Act because it was approved as a new drug before it was marketed as a dietary supplement or as a food, regardless of how it is done in other countries, because in some other countries, it is just seen as a supplement. There was a lot of outcry um, from, or not outcry is not the right word, but there's a lot of um, people really getting concerned about this because they use that uh, for a variety of reasons. And because of the response from the public, um, the FDA is actually looking at, even though it was defined as a drug, letting it still be allowed to be in supplements. Um, right now, the FDA is kind of looking through everything. They even stated in, on their website that while our full safety review of NAC become or remains ongoing, our initial review has not revealed safety concerns with respect to the use of this uh, ingredient in or as a dietary supplement. And the FDA is just continuing its evaluation of the request to basically make it be allowed be okay as a dietary supplement in the United States. So it's really up in the air right now if it will go after supplements that are still containing this. Um, it just kind of depends on what happens, what the FDA, I mean, the FDA has the final say in that. I did think it's a little interesting because people are talking about this. And of course, a lot of the Elamir distributors are saying that, you know, the FDA is just uh, like, they're trying to take this product from people, all this stuff, cons conspiracies. And while the FDA is not perfect, um, they, they didn't need to do this. They didn't need to put a second thought into this. The fact that they are listening to consumers and they are looking at this product or this, um, not product, they're looking at this specific supplement, um, the NAC, to be allowed in supplements, um, says a lot about how they, they listen. They will listen when people make a lot of noise. <laughs> the fact that they are considering this product to be okay as a supplement, I think, um, like they didn't need to do that. And so for the people who are distributors who are saying that like the FDA is just like this horrible thing, like mm, they really didn't need to give it a second thought and yet here we are. So we'll see what happens with this specific ingredient. If not, then they might just go to the end product, the glutathione, but we don't know what's gonna happen, but that's just something to keep an eye on. And so if anything comes up and I'm doing another kind of uh, video update on Elamir, then I'll be sure to mention that. I just realized that I was talking with a little bunny in my hand. I don't know if you saw that earlier, but okay. And then the last of the major three ingredients is the curcumin, which is the yellow pigment found in turmeric. Now this is also considered an antioxidant, supplementation, potentially reducing some levels of inflammation overall. More research is needed on a lot of the different areas um, that people typically claim with turmeric supplementation or curcumin supplementation, but there does seem to be small to moderate improvements in many areas of health, but we need more research. It is typically poorly absorbed when in supplement form. And so I believe that's one of the reasons why they decided to go with like a strip. And that's one of their selling points that they will use because of the bioavailability of it, which is a fancy word for saying how the body is able to utilize what you're putting in it. So minus the NAC seems like an expensive, unnecessary supplement in my opinion, mouth dissolving supplements. Okay, so a little bit about the company. From here, I am referencing an article from Behind MLM. The link is down below. I'm doing a very brief, quick overview. This article goes a lot deeper. So the company claims that it was founded in 2021 by Tone and Van Wen. However, Terry LaCour is listed as the sole director of the company. Terry LaCour owns LaCour Enterprises, making Elamir part of LaCour's MLM companies. So already there is a lack of transparency about the owning of the company and who is running it. This couple have been involved in MLMs before and according to this article, Tone was a lead consultant for a quote Ponzi scheme and Here's what Van had to say about that. If you do run into someone that says, do you know about the behind MLM article? Please don't go Google search it and click on it because then it just rises up, guys. I was expecting a behind MLM 
article about me. I knew they were going to say my husband does Ponzi schemes because we do invest in crypto. Guys, we fully disclose everything to everyone. And you can ask the OG team when they came over to our house. I told them at my dining table, hey guys, when behind MLM comes out, be mindful. They're probably going to say Tuan does Ponzi schemes, right? Because he does do crypto. So my whole point is we had already predicted all of this to come about. It just, when it happened, we're like, oh, there we go. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know when it was going to happen. So just letting you guys know that we were fully aware that was going to happen. And when it does come about, please be honest with people and let them know that yes, my husband does do crypto. Crypto is very controversial in the United States. So it's funny because in this clip, she says that anti MLM, specifically the source, the article uh, behind MLM, will say that they do Ponzi schemes because he does crypto. But that's not what it says. It's not talking about his involvement in crypto. It's talking about that specific company. So it seems like she's kind of using the straw man fallacy, kind of creating this new argument, something that was not there. A straw man fallacy occurs when in attempting to refute another person's argument, you address only a weak or disordered version of it. So that's what we see here. In my opinion, no further comment. This article also goes over the compensation plan, but just be aware that in order to be an active customer, you need to have a 45 PV or personal volume of product purchase per month. And to be an active brand partner, there's a requirement of 65 PV monthly product purchase. Per this group screenshot that someone sent me, you need about two boxes sold per month in order to be active. Your personal orders can count towards this. So essentially you're buying your status. I might be wrong with that, but that's what this person sent me, a screenshot from a group. Oh, and one box is $89.99. All right, so moving into claims. We love talking about claims here on this channel. We heard a lot of claims in the intro to this video, a lot of squirrel brain. Alameda Compliance has provided a list of terms to avoid and what to say instead similar to what most MLMs have. One thing that I have noticed with LMR in particular is that they will recommend you tell people to, for them to Google the ingredients themselves. Are we allowed to post graphics about studies on individual ingredients and their benefits? I would honestly, I would stay kind of away from that. I, I would just say like, oh, research this, these ingredients, you know, like, oh, look, look, look up what these ingredients do. Because if they look it up and they see that, you know, like PubMed says that NEC helps with blah, blah, or this, this, then it's like they're doing the research themselves instead of you having to be concerned. Yeah, there might be a PubMed, PubMed study and all that kind of stuff, but it's still classified as a supplement. <laughs> it, you know, you're kind of going into that gray area of, um, you know, it performing like prescription. Now, I know why they're doing this. The people can see some of the claims that other places are making about the individual ingredients, whether they're true or not. We have to look at the source right uh, but when you're looking at a supplement it's not just about the ingredients themselves but also how they work together and so when looking at a specific supplement it's really helpful or important to look at the data that is actually done on the supplement I'm not aware of any kind of data um, study specifically on this product I think they are working on it so we'll see what that says in the future but for now to stay out of hot water, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're recommending people to Google the ingredients instead of telling them, but we still have some claims to go over. This was in one of the groups that I'm in. Distributors are using this graphic to say that the strip may support overall calm and happy feelings, overall glutathione levels, blood sugar support, cognitive support, immune support, mood support, focus and clarity, stimulant, free energy, stress relief, gut health. So, Again, there's a recommendation to Google the ingredients. There's a lot of people who can find themselves within this and uh, especially for things like blood sugar support, I would just hate for somebody who needs to be on a, on a certain kind of medication um, for like to help them stay out of the hospital if they would use this product instead um, of something like let's say insulin and maybe have some adverse reactions. That's just a little bit concerning overall. All right, so remember in the graphic how I mentioned not to use the word pain. Here we're already seeing some non-compliant claims like this one saying, so this little strip took my lower back pain slash ache away all day, even while I was mowing the yard, brain fog was way better 
better during the day at work felt like felt like she didn't need a nap all day so yeah that one's not compliant <laughs> using the pain in there and someone in the comments is asking if they can share her story so sharing of a non-compliant claim this other story is beginning of how her shoulders were hurting and then after having the supplement and how she just had slight shoulder pain so again related to the pain they also mentioned to not use inflammation and this distributor is saying that this product has been a lifesaver for her inflammation affected family and then also this claim i've been sober 26 years i too am having a few i know to include someone who's who's my everything to me that this will help him with the anxiety and depression but in my own personal experience support groups and meds may be helpful regardless as it's a life change that happens too it's a little bit confusing um there might be some typos in there but that it will help them. The thing that stands out to me is that it will help them with the anxiety and depression. So saying that this helps people with anxiety and depression preys on people in very vulnerable situations. And we've seen this with other MLMs. So that kind of wraps up everything so far. I will be watching the just the outcome of this company. I know a lot of people are talking about this company, making videos and such, so there will not be a shortage of information on this new company. But if I hear anything more, I will definitely do an update video. Have you heard of this company? Have you started to see claims from this company? Let me know your thoughts about this new company and the product down below. And that's it. I will see you next time. Remember, you can strive for health without subscribing to Diet Culture. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.